Luke, here we are, Premier League finals night eve. How excited are you for tomorrow? I just just can't wait to play in front of another big crowd like I have done for the past 16 weeks. And I was actually practicing with the people at the maths thing before, and I actually want to have a practice now for tomorrow. So I'll probably have a practice later, um, but I just I can't wait to get going. Remember when we spoke to you at the World Championships, you said you thought the PDC would keep you away from all this. I bet right now you're glad they haven't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just glad I got got the call up, and we knew the travelling, and you've seen it with myself in the Euro Tours, and obviously with Nathan, it, we're, we're not happy about it, and but that's our decision to play in the Euro Tour. Um, but. The Premier League alone, and it's been it's been a great turnout, and I'm just glad that I, I, I topped the group. Never mind to qualify. Fourteen thousand due here at the O2 tomorrow. Is that spiking even for you, considering what you've done in short space of time? It's just like Manchester and Berlin, Liverpool. It's all ten thousand plus, but this is the one that this is the one that matters. The trophies on the line, the two semi-finals, and. If I can get past Mike Smith, it'll be a, a big boost. So then I can I can just chill out, hopefully, and then play that final. Well, on that Michael Smith game, he's one of the rare players that has a positive head-to-head -head against you. Is that something that you think of, or something you want to put right? Um, I've just been just been thinking to myself, try and win when it matters, because tomorrow night it matters a lot. Um, maybe throughout the campaign it's mattered, but I've come top. Whilst he's got a positive record over me, so I've just been thinking to myself, trying one when it matters. And again, just looking at the last few weeks, you had a little dip in form considering the high standards that, that, that you've set. How do you put that right tomorrow and make sure the dip doesn't continue? Um, just practice more than I have been doing. And like you said, averages, I think, average like 83 on a Euro Tours. Like, didn't feel like it, um, but tomorrow I'll have, a, I'll have a good practice, probably have a an hour here tonight and get going for tomorrow. Luke, you've just, you've just mentioned that you <coughs> topped the Premier League. You're only the sixth person ever to top the Premier League. Phil Taylor, Michael Van Gerwen, Glenn Durham, Clayton as well, he's there. What, what's it feel like when, you, when you're with all of those names and you've come in on debut as a teenager and you come first by quite a distance as well? Um, it just goes to show that my form's got me to where I have been, where I have. And where I've ended up, um, but I think it's them four nightly wins that I've, I've won as well. Does it surprise you when you see the level that you've played at in the Premier League? Because these are the best players in the world, week in, week out. And you, you know, we've seen you average you know, 115 against Michael Van Gogh, who averaged 110 and, and still get the job done. Um, I'm just, like you said, I'm playing these guys every week, and we all know how each other plays from now on. And I know. Certainly, I know the feeling when I come up against one of these players. You've played in so many big matches already. Ahead of finals night, do, do you get nervous? It doesn't look like you get nervous, yet you've got all these new experiences. Are you nervous ahead of potentially lifting the Premier League trophy? Not really. I've, before the trophy, I've got a semi-final and a final to win. Um, but no, I'll just, I'll just chill out tonight after this. And I'll just look forward to it, whether I win or not. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Look, there were those at the beginning of the season who maybe doubted if you were ready for the Premier League. Here you are in the final tonight. What would you say to those people now? Um, well, you said I weren't ready and now look where I am. I haven't got the job done yet, but I have topped the table on debut as a 17-year-old. And yeah, that's all I've got to say for now. What have you learned from this Premier League campaign as a player? And do you think playing these, these top players week in, week out has actually made you an even better player at all? Yeah, um, I've learnt a lot, especially the travelling and obviously playing the guys week in, week out. You can play the same guy if you win your semi-final, well, your first game into the semi-final and I've just got I've just got like the wrap of it. I know what to expect from all these players. What's been made about the head-to-head -head record between you and Michael Smith? Is that something you think about at all? Um, I, know it's, I know it's there, but like I said, I just want thinking to myself win when it matters and that's tomorrow night. Could you tell us what it would mean if you were to go all the way tomorrow night? It's, it'd mean a lot to win on debut and win my first major. Um, but try and get past Smithy, have that long break, see who wins out of Luke and Michael and then hopefully I can, well hopefully I'm in the final.
Thank you. Hi, I'm Matt, BBC Sport. How are you doing? Um, we saw you outside, didn't want to touch the trophy. Talk to me through that. What was that about? Um, I just just don't touch it and, until you win it. Um, we done some film for the World Championship final. I, I didn't touch the World Championship trophy either. So if I win it, I win it, and then that's when I'll touch it. Has this been everything you thought it would be in terms of you know the, the crowds and the touring and the travelling? What's it been like? Has it lived up to expectations, surpassed them in your own words? I just love playing in front of a crowd. The travelling is very boring, but once I'm in, once I'm backstage practicing, and once I get on stage, I just enjoy it. The last, I think, it's only five months since you, you know, kind of came to the public's attention, which seems crazy because it wish you'd been there forever at the moment. But for yourself, who's been in it, what's been the best non-darts highlight of the last five months? Um, probably going to Carrington, meeting the United squad, um, getting invited to watch United, uh, meeting Sir Alex, and then obviously just just chilling at home when I can. What have your family made of this? Because we've seen them along the way in, in, the, in, you know, in with the crowds. What, what have they been saying to you um, as you kind of climb the heights? Is it, is it a case of encouragement? Is it a case of trying to keep your feet on the ground? What are they like as a, as a unit? Um, my mum and dad, they're just, they're just like me. They obviously chill together. And when we're at home, I'll just, I'm on my Xbox doing what I do. And whenever we have to go to the airport, we'll go to the airport together. We don't really sit down and think about things and talk about things, we'll just we'll just do whatever we need to do. Talk to me a little bit about your preparation for tomorrow. Is there anything different you do ahead of such a big game or is it just, as a lot of sports people say, business as usual? I'll just see what happens when I wake up, just do what I usually do on a regular basis and get ready for, for my semi-final. Any rituals or superstitions? Not, not this weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of final questions which aren't dice related, because um, I know you're a huge football fan. We had the England squad announced yesterday, I want to get your thoughts on it. Um, uh, Any big really missions that you felt should have been in there? I know you're a, a big United fan. And there were should have. Yeah. Well, who should have? Who should have been in? Um, was it? I don't really know. I think I would have got Sancho back in. Okay. Yeah. Um, Rashford, right or wrong? Well, I agree with Southgate, he's had a bad season. Whereas, well, Gordon, for example, he's had a better season, so he deserves it. And final question, it's got to go to your love of the Reds. Uh, eighth place, some of that season? Um, not good, but we've, just like last season, we've got our final chance to lift the FA Cup trophy, and I hope we do it. Confident? Hope so. I'm there. I'll be watching. Enjoy. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.